Yeah, you did. Fucking naked running around out here. He is such a gentleman. So, all of a sudden, we got hit with this massive squall last night while we were sleeping. And we thought about it, talked about it, closing up the whole cockpit, but we didn't. Always when you're thinking about it, do it. Whether it's reefing or closing windows, just do it. But anyways, I came up the companionway stairs and I opened the hatch and it was just pouring. And I'm like, I don't want to go out there and get wet. And this guy, absolutely fantastic, comes out here and you close everything. Yeah, because all I could think of, we're leaving early this morning and all our cushions are going to be soaked. This whole cockpit, was, it was wet. So I closed it all up and just stood everything up so it would dry out overnight. We're mostly dry. Yeah. That's awesome. So, love him. There is still shivery in this world. I will tell you that 100%.
for Augustine uh, oh. in the 30s, sitting at about 25-ish. There's 29. It's it's um. It's a sporty day at sea. Sporty at sea. <laughs> Salty sporty day at sea. <laughs> It's a shitty day at sea. <laughs> that's, How's that? That's the one way of putting it, yeah. <laughs> I like how Cole Brower calls it the breeze. It's breezy. Yeah. We have a 25 knot breeze. Yeah. Sometimes 30. <laughs> Wicked. Salty sail. AIS works. Everybody has their own little signal and it sends um, information back to each other. So this sailboat's coming directly at us. You can see he's highlighted. It's a danger. His name is Moo. Time to closest proximity is about six minutes. We're going to be 0.1 nautical miles apart. Now we're actually going to be zero. So he's doing five knots. Uh, that's his course over ground. And there he is right there. So this is how AIS works. We can transmit our information back and forth with each other. It's really, really wicked at nighttime because you wouldn't see this guy coming. You might see some lights, but then you can see how close are we to actually co uh, collision. So in a case like this, we can actually radio them and say, hey, Moo, this is honey time. We're coming at each other. Let's go for a starboard uh, pass. So then we can each move over a couple of degrees and make sure we give each other lots of room to pass each other on the starboard side. But it looks like he's doing the same. I've gone a couple degrees to our port and he's doing the same. So we should give each other plenty of space, but it's gonna be a tight pass. It'll be fun to see each other go by under sail in these crazy conditions. It's pretty neat. Don't you think so? Yes, <laughs> in my face. In your face. <laughs> So according to our AIS, we are about 0.1 nautical miles away from Mu, and uh, that's probably pretty accurate. This is uh, definitely close. It's a lot scarier when you're 0.1 nautical miles away from a cruise ship, because <laughs> it feels like a lot closer space. In the future, they want to buy a cat and they want to call it Meow, just so people have to go Meow, Meow, Meow when they call them, <laughs> which I think is really, really funny. So, totally. yeah, Josh got his Moo, 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 and we got a Meow, Meow, Meow. And, yeah. and the best one that I've seen actually is some guys for radio and come into uh, Marina, and their name was Sailing Frickin' Wicked. So, the guy <laughs> radio it in and he's like hey whatever marina this is sailing freaking wicked <laughs> and, and i was like oh that's awesome that good choice it. that's a good choice very good choice i want to have beers with those guys <laughs> so if you're watching yeah. hit us up hit us up and don't forget to like and subscribe and comment friends please <laughs> god it feels like a washing machine yeah, that's rough Maybe we shouldn't have had two cups of coffee this morning. Got enough energy from this? Ugh.
So even though we weren't set up and prepared for that big of a heel today, I think we did a pretty good job when it comes to setting up the boat to be sail ready. Uh, we've got caught with our pants down a couple times uh, and hadn't stowed everything, but after doing this long enough, I hope, I hope we finally got it figured out. So we've got the kitchen, everything secure. There's nothing laying in the center of the boat, which is nice. And when this is all said and done, there's not going to be a huge cleanup afterwards. So I'm pretty excited about that. We're learning how to do this thing. Looks like the storm has passed. Yeah. That's good. Since we're having this lovely sail and on the uh, topic of navigation and how we uh, do stuff, I'm going to show you the rest of our helm. This is our chart plotter. It's getting pretty old. It's actually got some sun damage around the perimeter of it. So, but it's uh, the charts are fairly up to date, and uh, it's cool. We can we can use it for plotting and stuff, but we don't. It's kind of archaic compared to um, what we can do with just an iPad now. So we moved our VHF. We have one on the inside of the boat, and we moved one out here to the helm. We just felt like it was a good place to have it. We're pretty protected. Most VHF are kind of sitting right in the companionway where ours was when we bought the boat. We moved it out here. We added our AIS, so this is a, a setup that's uh, tied together. Um, the VHF we have will transmit our AIS if this one fails. This one will transmit and receive, so we can see other people. If this one fails, then this one at least will other people will be able to see us. We won't be able to see them. And then we do all of our plotting mostly uh, on an iPad now. So there's several really good apps that you can use for that. Uh, we prefer Navionics. We use that and Aquamaps quite a bit, but mostly Navionics. And we can do everything. We can, we track it on our phones, on our uh, iPad, and then we can compare it to what's on our chart plotter. It's got a, actually a lot of redundancies if you think about it that way. So these are all off grid, offline. Uh, once we get started, the GPS signal goes to your phone and goes to your iPad anyway. So if we had a failure with any three of those devices, then we can still rely on our chart plotter, which is a Garmin chart plotter and it's quite solid. So that's basically how we do everything. We have one more system here. This is Kevin's brain. This is our autopilot. Kevin is not set up to work with the rest of the Garmin stuff. Um, he uh, basically will hold a course. So we don't put waypoints in, so it will not sail for us, but uh, we can move him in increments of one or 10 degrees, as you can see right here. So we can go one degree to the port or two degrees back, or we can do a 10. Which I think is a safety feature. Um, I mean, it would be nice to set waypoints here and there, but I feel you have to be on top of what's going on, even though you have your autopilot doing what it needs to do. If you are going to be having it totally steer the boat, that can get a little bit scary. Just my opinion. You may get sleepy. <laughs> I get sleepy. <laughs> I get sleepy. <laughs> this is my brother, Sleepy. <laughs> Here, we're right about midway. Winds are starting to calm, the waves and squall, the squall that had passed is kind of, the waves have subsided a bit. I think we're going to put some more sail out. Right now we're about uh, half the main and half the head sail and we're doing about six knots. It's comfortable. Might want to speed it up a little. We'll see how it goes. But um, it's uh, only a seven or eight hour sail today. So there's really no rush and we're enjoying it. Maybe we'll just do some fishing. What do you say, baby? Let's do some fishing. I want another mahi. Yeah. yeah. And we don't want to catch another damn barracuda. That one no. yesterday was huge. He was hard to get up. How are your shoulders? Hard to today? get off. Baby, you can't get a fish off. How do you get a gar barracuda off? <laughs> <laughs> on that note, uh, feed him the pink pom pom. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I said, on that note, how are your shoulders after lifting that big uh, boy up? Yeah, I'm sore today. That was a struggle. We had a few things yesterday that really put a, uh, some stress on the old shoulders last thing. But, um, hey, it's like a two-stroke dirt bike. You gotta break them in hard and make sure they're strong. I think this dirt bike's been broken in. We're baby. setting the rings. <laughs> so.
<laughs> this has been a fantastic sale. Oh my goodness. We have been uh, peeled over quite a bit as we had said, but the boat has been handling fantastic and uh, reaching into the sevens, which is usually out of our comfort zone, but I feel like this chunk here, we've really grown. Like we've gotten a lot more comfortable in the healing of the boat, the speed of the boat, how much sail we're comfortable having out in a certain amount of wind and gusts and all that kind of stuff. It's been a super fantastic, wonderful sail today. It has. Yeah. The only thing that could make it better is if we would have started it three hours <laughs> earlier <laughs> because the sun's going down and we're going to be getting into the anchorage probably around nine o'clock tonight. So it's not a big deal. We've been there before, so we'll find a spot. It's not a biggie. But you know what is a big deal? It's when you're getting close, all the freaking fish pots. You got to watch out for them. And they're, yeah, that they're, is a big deal. they're hard to see at night, like yeah. really, really hard. But it has been awesome. Sun's going down. You see a couple of sailboats way in the distance there. They're just sending it probably straight to USVI or something. That's awesome. And come over here. You can see our destination. Destination Ah. <laughs> there he is, Martin. Me. Baby, that's beautiful. Thank you. I'm singing for you. You always sing me such nice songs. A huge thank you to all our Patreons. Your support makes all this possible so we can share this adventure with you. If you haven't signed up yet and you're looking for more amazing Hanu content, click the link to join the crew. Have a great day everyone and we'll see you next week.